Next in the den, Karen Parhar from Vancouver, BC, and a sticker business she began rather accidentally. And the rules of the den state she must get all the money she's asking for, or she goes home with nothing. Hello, Dragon. I'm Karen Parhar. I'm from West Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm currently living in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. My product is Scared Safe Driving Stickers, and I'm asking for $30,000 for 40% of my business. Now, before I get into my product, I want to tell a little bit of a story of how this came to be. Um, I'm not really the best driver. Actually, probably close to the worst driver there is. I lost count at about 50 accidents or so. And, <laughs> Are you serious? Um, <laughs> um, I got to the point where I was so anxious and depressed and felt helpless about my driving. I was just like, what can I do to improve my driving? Stop driving. <laughs> yeah. Take a bus? <laughs> yes, but I had to drive. I had so many things going on. Anyway, so I was like, what is the reason why I keep getting into accidents? And I realized it was I'm just not paying attention when I'm behind the wheel. So I started putting these messages and stickers and images on my car to remind me to slow down. Scared safe driving stickers feature startling images and slogans designed to scare people into driving safely. Drivers place the stickers on steering wheels and dashboards as a constant reminder to be careful. Be alert, don't be a killer with a baby girl crying over a father's gravestone. That's I want to see that I in the morning. I want to see that every morning on the way to work. You're, read, you're reading stickers <laughs> while you're driving? No, actually, it's not distracting. It's the same thing as having a steering wheel there. And for me, it was like I needed to have something that reminded me of the worst thing that could happen. If so you're basically saying, put some dead guy stickers on my dash. I'm going to get in the car and say, wow, look at all the bad things can happen. And you're going to drive better. A lot of the campaigns and ads and commercials are fear-based. There's millions of dollars spent on commercials. Karen, no one's going to put this in their car. I did actually did Have a market... Have you sold any of these to anybody? Of course no, not. But I did no. um, a market the survey that, research, and 10 to 15 percent of people said what they'd buy it for themselves. 20 to 25 percent they would said they would um, what are consider these, these having guys it you've been free. dating. I mean. Government agencies spend millions of dollars on commercials, on traffic safety weeks, and they don't look at repetitive Karen, messages. Karen, what do you do for a living? What do you do? What do you do in your day-to-day? -day I am job? in my final year of my PhD in forensic psychology and you applied have a social psychology in applied social psychology. And you actually are not. I swear to God, University of Saskatchewan, applied social psychology. You know, Brett. <laughs> I'm uh, starting to question the whole Saskatchewan educational system about so right now. You're almost, you're almost going to be a doctor. That's great. Yes, and my master's degree and uh, my PhD are both on uh, behavior modification. Karen, you're so smart. How can you be this dumb? When you do your thesis and you stand up in front of them and you say, this is what I've done, this could actually stop you from graduating. I'm out. Are you being serious, or are you are you joking I'm, around? I'm with being serious. Karen, I don't think you're going to go anywhere with this. It's it, it just it's it's a bad idea. Karen, I feel I feel like we should come up with a prize. Has anybody told you this is a good idea? Yes, lots of people. Her mother. Get money dad. from them, Karen, because it's going to be a really tough yep. go to make this a business. It's really tough. Okay, well, I'm I'm sure I can get funding from government agencies because they have millions of dollars. No, as a shareholder of the government of Canada, I'm going to vote no. I'm on the board of the Ivy Business School. I'm going to call them up and get a special seat for you so you never get out of school. You go back into business school where we will explain to you what a really bad idea this is. So I am out. That's four thumbs down, but Robert thinks Karen deserves an honorable mention. Karen, I feel, I feel like we should come up with a prize for you for the worst idea in four years. I'm out. Brett, which university are you associated with? Can you get your money back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they totally missed out on a good deal. And I, you know, want to develop a company where I get products to people so they can help change, make their lives better. And it's pretty sad that they wouldn't see that part of it. I'm trying to do some good, not just trying to make a buck. 